Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out previous videos or you might be lost, but you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, just to review what we did in the previous video, uh, I told you to go ahead and check out this project I have up on GitLab, gitlab.com forward slash melex1000 forward slash documents for dash tutorials, and to clone this repository. In that repository, there are some shell scripts inside a subfolder, uh, which we're looking at, and one of those scripts downloads this file, which is just some made up uh, data that I have that we're using. Uh, we're going to be pulling names from that, or actually we've already pulled names from that. Uh, so the first command we ran last time was uh, the get people command, which is just a wget command that pulls down that people CSV, which again, I'll show you right now. Then we ran the command uh, create uh, .csv, and what that did is generate a pretty good CSV that we can open in LibreOffice that has uh, you know made up names and fake salaries. It generates some random numbers for salaries. So again, uh, LibreOffice, and we created a file called salaries.csv, and it's comma delimit, uh, comma as delimiters, and then the string delimiters are quotation marks uh, because there are commas in the numbers, and the quotation marks are just telling it, you know, don't split the columns uh, based on the commas in these fields because they're numbers. Um, so there, that's great. And again, I can cat that out, salaries. But then if I want to grab some information from here, like let's say I want to grep uh, this Todd Copeland. I could say, you know, grep for his line. So probably want to give it a file that we're working with. So there we go. So I got his line. And then let's say I want to grab, you know, one of his salaries here. I would normally try to use the cut command and say cut with a delimiter of a comma, and then I'd say field five, but there's a problem because of the commas in the numbers. Uh, and this is an issue. I'm sure that there are probably tools out there. They're designed for m maybe going through CSV files more efficiently, parsing through them, um, but I'm not aware of them. Uh, one option would be to convert this to a JSON file and using JQ, but here I'm going to try to use some tools that I'm used to using, in this case, cut. So how can I use the cut command to actually cut uh, one of these numbers? I mean, I, I could be like cut comma five, six, that would work, but that's, that's kind of weird. So what I want to do is I actually want to convert this. As I mentioned in the past, commas are the most common delimiters for these type of files, but you can use any character you want. Um, tabs are common. Uh, in fact, uh, these are CSV files, but you can also see them as uh, uh, TSV files for tab uh, separated values. Uh, but you can use whatever character you want. In fact, like I said, when I open it up in LibreOffice, salaries.csv, here it's asking, do I want to use tab? Do I want to use columns? Are they fixed with? Are they separated by semicolon, spaces, other, where I can put in a number here, which is what we want to do. Um, so normally when I do my own CSV files, a common thing I'd use is a pipe symbol uh, because it's very uncommon when you're typing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our delimiters into pipe symbols. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sed and I'm going to give the sed uh, the substitute command. So this is saying sed substitute whatever's between these first two forward slashes with whatever's between the second two slashes G means globally, do it more than once, do it throughout the entire file in this file. Right now, we're just going to change the output. We're not going to actually um, uh, modify the file. In fact, I'm going to do one line at a time so it make it easier for you to read. So I'm just going to cat out our salaries file into here. And actually, I'm going to, I'll just, let me go back up here. I'll just grep this line. So again, I'm going to grep this line, but I'll pipe that into said just to make this easy for you to read. And what I want to do is, how do I know when I want to change? Well, we have those quotation marks. So if I say quotation, comma, quotation mark, I can change those to pipes. So you can see here, I changed all our delimiters, at least between the numbers, into pipe characters. Uh, we have a few issues here. We have the comma between the name, which I'm not going to worry about. I'm going to leave that as is and just have one column for the last name, first name, and have them separated by a comma, just as you would with the last name, first, first name, last. Um, but you can see here that I have this um, comma quotation mark at the beginning there. So I'm just going to say here in set again, I'm going to run another said command, only one of those. Uh, and I'm going to say to change the comma quotation mark. And it is important that I do this in this order because if I did that before, it would screw up our first pipe character. But there, now I have the name. 
then I have a pipe character, then I have a number, pipe character, all the way down, until the very end here we have a uh, little quotation mark and comma at the end there, so I'm just going to adjust that with the same thing, I'm just going to say instead of comma quotation, I'm going to go quotation comma, again leaving this blank, meaning in this case I'm not going to add a pipe, I could add a pipe there, and we'll just add an extra column to the end of our CSV file, which is not unusual, but I'm just going to remove it. So there we go, we have that. So if I was to open up this file, um, vim usable underscore csv.sh, you can see that's all I do. It's just one line of code other than echoing out what's happening. I am going to take that file, the salary file, do exactly what we talked about. The dash i is saying, change it in place. So we're actually going to modify the file this time. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that command. And it happens very, very fast. And now if I was to open up this uh, file in LibreOffice, same file as before, but with modifications, I can say not commas, but other, and give it the pipe character. And now I have a column with the names, first name and last name all in the first column there, and then 25 columns of the names, or of the numbers. And now I can use that cut command, so I can say, uh, I can cat out, again, I'll just do that one line right here. So I'm going to grep that one line, but I can say cut with a delimiter of pipe field 5. And I've got that salary. I can go the next year, or the next year, or the next year. Because again, these are made up salaries that we generated in the first video. Anyway, that is making the file a little more usable for using the cut command. Again, there might be better options. There might be tools out there. I know there's tools for parsing through JSON uh, in your shell. I haven't seen any that are for CSV because I think normally you would just use the cut command, but depending on how your CSV file is formatted, uh, that may or may not be an option. Obviously, cut is just one option. You could use awk or sed, and you could probably get them to look at the the CSV file in certain ways, but this is the simplest way was just convert those delimiters to pipe characters and then use cut to read through that. So that's where we're at and we're going to continue moving forward with this in future tutorials. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description as always. I hope that you have a great day.